enjoying this vlog of this series so far. Today's video is going to be a video that I asked the questions for quite a long time ago so it's going to be our Snapchat Q&A video and I'm finally getting around to answering all of the questions that you asked me. So I'm going to begin, so Giorgio QX on Snapchat asked me what is your dream job? My dream job would have to be rather a health psychologist or a clinical psychologist. Clinical is like ridiculously hard to get onto like ridiculously hard um, and health I'm kind of like halfway there once I finish my masters in health psychology and clinical skills notice how they're both linked in there um, then I can do my part two which basically means that I'm half qualified to become a health psychologist so that when I go into a job like when I get a job in the area that I want to be in I can then get a supervisor and then after a couple of years, I think it's two, three years of building up a portfolio, then I can be, become a fully qualified health psychologist. And the clinical route is a whole different game. <laughs> Question two is from Emma, who has asked, how long have you been doing YouTube for? I've been doing YouTube for a long time. However, I've not been consistent throughout the whole time. So even though I have done it for a long time, I used to be like, I mentioned this before, I used to have like six months without uploading a video. Like it was so crazy. Um, so now I'd say consistently I've been doing YouTube for maybe a year and a half, two years. Like actually put an effort into it. <laughs> Isabella asked me, what do you do for your skincare? This question made me laugh when you asked me it. Not that it's a stupid question, but it's just because I don't do anything, like I'm so bad. I'm trying now to like put cream on. So recently, because I've been trying, recently I've been taking my makeup off with the Garnier Micellar Water, which is my absolute favourite. And then I've been applying the Benefits Total Moisture, like the thick moisturiser from Benefit. I've been applying that all over my face and then I've been using a number seven eye serum and that's it. <laughs> Another question is, what is your favourite eyeshadow? But I'm not sure who this one's off. I'm going to cheat. I don't know if that's a cheating or not, but my favourite eyeshadow palette is the Tarte Left by Tarte, I think. I think anyway. <laughs> what drugstore makeup would you recommend? I would recommend foundation from Bourjois. If you're looking for palettes and for like a lot of makeup to experiment with, then I'd recommend like Makeup Revolution, which is like in Superdrug. I like Rimmel lipsticks, they're quite good. I'd recommend the Essence Make Me Brow, which is like basically the same as Gimme Brow. This is from Wilkinson's. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. <laughs> Oh, and the second question is, what high-end makeup would you recommend? I'd recommend the Galan bronzer, first of all, because it's like the best bronzer like, I've ever, ever used. So I recommend that. I'd recommend Benefits mascaras. They're definitely worth the price tag. I've just recently tried a full face of Tarte. That's what I've got at the moment. And I'd recommend their mascara. And I'd also recommend their eyeliner. It was immense. And their Rainforest of the Sea foundation. I'd recommend that. I'd recommend the Laura Geller Gilded Honey highlighter because that is just immense. Like the best best highlighter ever. I'd recommend MAC Studio Fix Foundation if you want in a full flawless face. Um, I will be doing a video on this, what I'd recommend for drugstore and what I'd recommend for high end. I have got a video though that has like um, a drugstore starter kit so like everything that I'd recommend that I think is really really good for when you're wanting to start off in makeup or for instance you're just not really sure what makeup to buy. I've got it all in different areas that like the best ones to buy. So I'll leave that link down below because I'll answer a lot of your questions. So Morgan has two questions and the first one is what's your most memorable slash favourite memory? It'd probably be when I went to America just because it was just like a different world. Like I went to Florida and it was like a different world out there. It was like so different to what I've ever saw. Like everything's so much bigger and obviously I'm from like Middlesbrough so it's so little here. There's not really much here. It's kind of naff really. And then I went to America when I was nine and I was just like what is this place? And now I want to move to America. Once I qualify and I've been working in the UK for a while, um, my dream and Blake's dream as well is both to move to America. So that'll be happening as soon as we possibly can, but yeah, that's my most favourite memory and that's the impact that it's had on my life. <laughs> Number two is, if you could only use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? And that would have to be MAC, just because of the selection that they have. Hayley has asked, what made you become a YouTuber and how do you come up with all your ideas for videos? So me becoming a YouTuber, I mentioned this in my first Q&A video that I did, me becoming a YouTuber was me actually singing at first, um, I used to do singing videos and then I stopped and did more makeup related stuff, I've never looked back since. So as for coming up with ideas for my YouTube videos, 
I watch so many YouTube videos that they kind of inspire me and I also think about things that I'd really want to watch or for instance if there's a product that I really want to try and I've tried to get like a review up, like a video review and there's nothing there then I'll buy the product and then think well I'll fill that gap and I'll help somebody else who also wants to try and buy that product. So that's how I come up with ideas. <laughs> How could you tell? Oh, I put my Christmas tree on. You, know? <gasps> you put that there? Not really. Is it? Oh, I never did it. It must have been Santa. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I'm going to be doing Christmas videos now. So I put my Christmas tree there. Jesus. I know, you've got loads now. I found one in that um, bag downstairs. So I put it in your pile with them all. Which one? There was... In... Elsa. Yeah, it was. Oh, I was trying to look for her last night. Well, yeah, she was in the bottom of the bag, so I put her next to Minnie and Mickey. Oh. I put them all in the rest in the little line. Minnie, they're getting married. Are they? That's why everybody's lining up. <laughs> is that why they were at the front? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Saz has asked me, are you still living with Blake and are you excited about uni? So no, I don't live with Blake anymore. There's no, like, bad reason for it. Um, we didn't, like, have a falling out or anything like that. It was just a lot easier me being at my mum's house now. So that's just how it kind of worked out. And I'm a lot closer to uni now. It's so much easier being able to, like, literally be 15, 10 minutes, like, drive away instead of being, like, at least... 20 30 minutes of you like actually setting off and getting to uni and stuff so it's just so much easier for me now and our relationship is so much better now like it was really good anyway but it's got so much better now that i've moved out so it is what it is <laughs> and are you excited about uni i am very excited about uni obviously when you asked me this question i hadn't started but obviously i'm at uni now but yeah i'm really excited it is going really well i've had a little bit of like a stress like the past two weeks where i've literally been up until like half four every single night, half three, doing assignments and stuff, but I haven't got anything to do it now until January, so I'm gonna try and avoid what I've just gone through and plan in ahead, so. And I love you too, by the way. Charles asked me, what's your dream job? Obviously, I've already answered that one. And what's your, and what's one makeup product you can't live without? I could never live without mascara. I could go without everything else, but if I had mascara, it just made me feel so much better. And Saz MX is also asked, um, what makeup would you wear to an engagement party or for a wedding? And for that, I'd probably be like something kind of similar to what I've got in my eyes at the moment. Maybe a bit of a gold lid with like brown and black in the outer corner. Um, I always go for some kind of bold lip that matches my outfit, if that makes sense. Loves you. Loves you too. Loves you more. Loves you more than you do. Rachel M has asked, how old were you when you started to properly wear makeup? When I started to like properly wear makeup where I actually kind of had like like put thought into what on earth I was doing instead of just using whatever it was that I had, do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't just shoving something on my face. Was when I went to college when I started my A levels, so when I was like 16, 17 was when I just started properly getting into makeup. So that is all of the questions. Thank you so much for asking. If you'd like to be involved in the next one, then I always put it on my Snapchat or I put it on our Facebook group, Luther's Lady. So make sure you follow me on there. If you don't have any of them platforms, then just leave your question down below because I always go through the videos as well to make sure there's any questions on there. So leave your question down below and it will get answered in the next video. Every single question gets answered, so make sure you leave yours down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your Vlogmas and I'm really excited doing all these videos for you so I'll see you in tomorrow's video. So weird saying that I'll see you tomorrow. But yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys!